Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we are testing out a very, very cheap phone for all of its various camera and video capabilities. So, let's get into it. All right, everyone, so we have arrived. We are at the park here. We are at Third Ward Park. This is the standard spot that I test things out, where I film things in this beautiful field behind me that is amazing for time lapses. Now, this is a unique situation for me because usually I'm traveling with uh, real cameras and audio setups and heavy tripods and stuff. Today, I have a tripod. This is on a tripod right now. It's the uh, Magnus GT100. And the only reason why I'm doing that is because I have found that there is a terrible amount of shaking when it's purely handheld. Now, there may be some shaking here also, but it's not so bad. There we go. Right, so, hey everybody. Anyway, today we are me uh, reviewing all the bits, all the uh, features and the image quality, sound quality that you're gonna get. We're right next to a stream, you can probably hear that. Uh, and we're gonna see if a budget phone, this phone is under $200, if it holds up. It's not gonna be as good as a real camera, maybe. Or, will you be surprised? Well, I guess we'll see. Well, I guess you're surprised entirely a function of your expectations. We'll see how it goes. So, let's get started with some photos. Over here we have the stream, we have the stream on the other side, and this right now is what you're seeing is the front, is the facing, the back of the phone facing out. Uh, this is the rear camera on the ultra-wide setting. So here you have quite a bit of room around me. There's a, it's not quite as high megapixel as the main camera, but not bad. Or is it? I don't know. Anyway, let's do some photos. So first of all, with a beautiful thing about this, as it is an Android device, is you have the ability, nay the, nay the responsibility to shoot in RAW. And so the phone itself can't really edit a raw photos, but if you, you can very easily plug your phone into a computer, take them off and then edit in the Lightroom or whatever other photo editing thing. We're, so we're gonna actually gonna do that later. We're gonna shoot in raw right now, and then we're going to edit it later. We'll see how far we can push these photos without degrading them massively. All right, so we've just taken some beautiful photos so far. Actually, we'll see how they turn out. We're gonna head back to the studio and edit them to perfection. But right now behind me, it's time for another test. We have a sky with whiskey clouds. And as at least I can tell, they're moving. Not particularly quickly, but they're moving. So we're gonna set this up to take a time lapse of this beautiful happening that is happening. And we'll insert that now. <laughs> All right, everyone, so we've got our time lapse of the beautiful cat cloudy sky behind us, and it is now time to go and get some more photos with our device. So now let's actually head over to the lake, duck pond region over here, and let's see what we get. All right, guys, so right now we're right near some water, and I have an idea. It might be a very bad idea, and this might be the end of this footage because it will be destroyed in the watery depths. But, is it worth it? Maybe. Let's see. Hopefully it won't happen. Alrighty, everybody. So right now we are by the duck pond. The pond, but as of right now, oh, there's some ducks, like, way off in the distance. But you're on the ultra-wide, so there's no way you'll ever see that. Um, it will go down and check that out. Anyway, we've got a very pitiful waterfall right here. And that's where we just were before. I'm not sure you can see anything with the sun glaring as it is. But, yeah. Ooh, there they are. There's some ducks. I see ducks all the time. I don't know why we get so excited, but it's like really cold. In the Streaming across the water. Let's see, the coast of water. Not too close, so it's not going to fall in, but you know. So 
after we return from the park, we have uploaded our footage onto the computer, we have edited it, we have seen what we have seen. And what we have seen is a couple of things I thought I should let you know about. First up, I was very happily surprised to discover that the footage coming out of this phone, out of the cameras on this phone, was surprisingly clean. It was surprisingly well done. And the audio was surprisingly audible. You could hear what was to be heard. And this is a stark contrast from the audio that you get from the onboard microphones on, say, a real camera. The onboard microphones on a real camera is actually significantly worse than the onboard microphones on your phone. Now, external microphones on both are definitely better, but considering that I didn't have any of that on here, I just had my phone on a stick. It was really surprisingly very good audio. Well, I guess you've already heard all that. Uh, anyway, the other thing I wanted to let you know is that the photos that I showed you were not the way the photos come out of the camera. The way the photos come out of the camera are very, very flat, like this. They're very uh, dull in their colors, and the reason why it does that is so that it can see further into the shadows and further into the highlights without blowing anything out. But the result of that is that if you are not prepared to edit it, it's going to look kind of just dull and gray. So, I strongly suggest if you do shoot more off, first of all, number one, shoot more off. Second of all, learn how to edit photos. If you want tips on that, there's a video on these places uh, that I show you guys how to edit it in Lightroom. And uh, check that out and edit. If you don't have time for that or aren't interested or whatever else, I actually just did this tonight. I switched over to JPEG and shot JPEG and it was immediately usable. Not as good as it could have been had I shot in RAW and then edited it, but faster shooting JPEG and then send it off as is. So I hope you all found this entertaining, educational. I don't know why you guys show up, whatever it is. Anyway, if you all had a wonderful time, please like, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube things that one does, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.